let's see here. How long I might it takes... not be able to read any of the comments. Just to... okay. I guess. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> I'll try. <laughs> comments. <laughs> Just, oh it gosh. hasn't. Okay. Okay. I think we are live. Yeah. Just, just wait to see. Now everyone just needs to stop watching OnlyFriends and come watch us instead. <laughs> Priorities. <We're important. laughs> Let me um do a little mm -hmm. IG story here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, there's people watching. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, well, is anyone gonna comment? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just hello, observing. hello. Is there anyone out there? <laughs> it's fine. Mm. We can just talk to our amongst ourselves. That's basically what well, we're used what to we doing, do. anyways. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, okay. Instagram story okay. posted. Not yet. Uh, Multitasking. Uh, yes. I know Sweet words. Day. We are chatting. Twenty twenty-four. Yeah. Tell me. It's like the intermediate dancing just before it, the show starts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm like not awake yet. <laughs> That's valid. It, it's in the middle of the day uh, for me. <laughs> it is, oh, it's 11, but it's 11 on a Saturday, so. Mm. Oh, clapping emoji. And post. Okay. Instagram story is posted. Hey, Char! Um, hi! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what the <fuck>? Hello. <laughs> There's, oh, oh, God. God. Someone out there. Yeah, we yeah, do realized, not spoil. I, I have not like, oh, watched people Only still watching yet. Only Friends. <laughs> Do not spoil. Yeah, none of us have watched it yet. <laughs> I I no. have to wait until tomorrow to watch it. So, mm. I I opened Twitter to like do the thing about the live, but I was immediately like spoilers <laughs> everywhere. So I'm just trying yeah. to like not look at my timeline while I do social media things. Yep. Well, uh, I can't uh, see anything either way, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm I'm not like. I'm not even kidding. My like on my phone now, like the font is like <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, even anything. her grandma era. <laughs> For those who don't know, I have like this infection in my eyes. I don't know what it is. Um, but um so I'm on some medication and the medication blurs my vision. So I can't see anything. I haven't been able to work for like a week and I, I can barely, like it's getting better. So I can barely read the chat right now. <laughs> it's been a nightmare. It's okay. It's okay. We got you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did watch the trailers though. Like I was watching the live stream. Yeah, I hate watching the live stream. I don't hate yeah. it, but it's uh, it's stressful to me because like mm. we're also tweeting about it, and it also mm. is like when I'm at work. So it's like <laughs> as soon as I get yeah. to work, I'm trying to tweet about <laughs> GMM TV 2024, and it's so fucking long. I'm like, yes. <laughs> and there's so but it's fine. So much happening. Yes, yeah, so it's so much. It's 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 overwhelming. So I always go back and obviously rewatch them after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to like actually take today. in what I'm what is being put out yeah yeah words mm -hmm. yeah so yes we are talking about the GMM TV 2024 
um, part one. Yeah. <laughs> because apparently yeah. we're getting a part two this year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the people need it because people did not get everything they wanted from the part one. No. <laughs> Shar no. can speak to that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously we're mainly we're only going to be talking about the BL and one GL um, trailer. Um, but part one was like mainly I was going through because I was putting everything in a playlist to watch and like they mm -hmm. heavy piled a lot of their BL trailers into part one. So I'm guessing part mm -hmm. two might be more of their het stuff and then like a couple twinklings of BL. Yeah, to... I'm wondering like because what I noticed was missing adult shows <laughs> yeah just, there was a mm. lot of like yeah. school stuff they went back to school again really heavy That's this true. year yeah so i'm just like okay part two is probably gonna be the more yeah yeah adult yeah stuff. i think it'll have a lot of their their het shows and those tend to be more adult i feel like in nature than yeah but, a lot and of the BLs i we do see. not believe that they are not gonna have even like one first kowtong bl yeah it's next coming. year like i, I have really, no like, doubt like it's coming i did, i did people would riot oh talking about riots did you see the old man on thing <laughs> Listen. Was just like, people Listen. are crazy it's embarrassing. It is. Like, if I was Om and Nanon and I walked out of my work building and saw that big ass banner, I would just, be, I would be like, that is not me. Like, oh don't look God. at me. Like, dude, they did just one like, BL. Like, I don't know. The ship Some, wasn't even sailing about... before it sunk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, right? Their fight. Didn't they have uh Yes, a they did a beef fight. a little bit. And then they, they made up. Yeah. They probably I would made just up, be happy but they're not doing that, a Yeah, I would just be happy again. that they were civil again. Yeah. Uh yeah. yeah I wonder no, how much money it costs. Because if you Notice... just have that disposable income and you're doing that, I don't know what to tell you. Notice how a lot of the times when these scenarios happen where fans are crossing the line, it's a lot of the times the Chinese fans. Not all. They But the thing have... with the Kin Kinpur stalkers, those were Chinese as well. Yeah. I think that they just have a very strong fandom culture and a lot of Chinese fans who are in fandom have a lot of money. So mm -hmm. they're the yeah. ones that you see a lot, like with the billboards and stuff like that. Like yeah. they have a lot of money that they like. That's why like Chinese they're fans, I feel like united, are a big part yeah. of a lot of BL because they have um, like they put so much money into it, like into their yeah. fandom causes. Mm -hmm. yeah, and but it also makes them more at the forefront organized. when <laughs> lots of donations and projects. Yeah. Mm hmm. Don't mind me. I'm eating my Reese's cup here. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Should we um, focus on yeah. this year's? We'll start, Who has a we'll list? Because I don't. I I have I it. I don't. <laughs> I have it. I I came prepared, guys. I like somewhat perfect. Um, so I just put them in the order that they released in during the showcase. I I think this is the order that they released in during the showcase, because it's the order that GMMTV uploaded them on the website um the website youtube um mm -hmm. so the first one i have was we are which is the one mm -hmm. with pond poobin winnie satong mm -hmm. all boom and then mark and is pop poppin his name i think um so it's like a university bl and they didn't say it during the showcase but um based on his postings uh people figured uh, new from Wabi Sabi is directing this one, which mm. garnered mixed feelings and mixed reactions. Was from that people. the reason I was watching this and I got like this whole um, uh, love by chance vibe? I don't mm. know what it is, but I was getting I that vibe that. watching. Mm -hmm. And and one of the yeah. one of the newer guys that I don't know the name of, he reminds me so much of, of uh, Plan. Is was it? Is Plan? Is Plan was in Love by Chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he you was reminding me yeah. so much of him. Just... Yeah. I 
Um, I used to really love new uh, directing. Um, I haven't been impressed of his newer work mm -mm. because he's mm -mm. he's taken like a purity culture stance on all of his shows, and it's sadly taking away from the quality of the storytelling. I think the shows that he's done best have been his angsty shows. Until yeah. we meet again, mm -hmm. my only twelve percent. Mm -hmm. The ones that kind of tap into that like nostalgia, sadness, um, angsty. I, I said it. Yeah, twice, and he but, does those mm -hmm. really well. But but yeah, he... but the rom coms, I I don't know. Rom coms they and between the... us was a letdown. Yeah, yeah right. If um, you're gonna have like, if you're a director who doesn't want to do heavy like um, sex driven storylines then don't do them because mm. if you have a story that's basically based off sex and you don't have any sex then it's it's not going to make any sense no matter yeah. what so yeah yeah i mean i guess maybe that's more fitting than for it looked very light airy rom-com so i guess it can be oh so tong's character is ace in the novel that's nice it'll be nice to see some mm. i don't think we've had any ace rep and Thai bl like explicit mm -hmm. that i can think of at least um Not i know people yeah headcanon in characters that way often but hopefully mm -hmm. they'll keep that in the series um i'm in it i'll watch it for all boom like this is if this is the one project where that they does get... your own boom like obsession come from because they haven't done okay. anything Listen, <laughs> like i, I don't get it no i have been wondering that i when don't did it know start? where it came from like <laughs> why are you so obsessed i don't know i've just been like they were in vice versa very minimally obviously i love oh, yeah. vice versa um <laughs> They were like, it was very much like a blink and you'll miss it at the very end. They kind of hinted yeah. at them getting together and vice versa. And when it came to Hidden Agenda, I ended up like mm -hmm. towards the end only going through to watch their cuts. But I don't know. It's just something I, I guess because I was following like vice versa fans a lot. I've been seeing a lot of their interactions on social media and I... It just kind of happened. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's no like logical um like moment where it clicked, but all of a sudden I was just like rooting for them to like get a show. Um but yeah, they're they yeah, they kind of hard carried and hit an agenda. Like um but yeah, so uh, oh yeah, I never fin finished I I watched until episode nine and then um I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah but i don't remember them barely from hidden agenda so i don't I... yeah they didn't have a lot of screen time there mm. either but like i like their storyline um mm. so i would like skip through and watch their parts um but yeah i don't know i was hoping that they would like at least get like a little bit of a bigger role but if this is all they're gonna be in then i'll watch it i do love pond and poo win so it's nice to see them have they done oh yeah fish upon the sky didn't watch that one mm. so they have done a rom-com before but i yeah. know when we talked to puin he said he wanted to go back and do more of like a romantic comedy type mm. vibe after never let me go so mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to see how it plays out i feel yeah. like it'll be like a simple watch probably like a no brain just mm -hmm. watch and enjoy type thing yeah i mean i'm i'm all for, here for like cro crotch kit kicking and it might be interesting <laughs> that's that's the one <laughs> thing you pulled from that's the trailer <laughs> i mean okay my one, me. thing, okay. <laughs> my one thing i pulled out is that um pond looks really good in the engineering shirt so he, he does <laughs> he, he he does look good i'm glad he's doing something because i know he talked about like going back to school next year so people didn't know if he was still gonna be acting so mm -hmm. It's nice that like we'll still get a project from Pond and Poobin. Um literally it's mm -hmm. just gonna be no thoughts, just vibes. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. I know like a lot of people are happy to see Winnie and Satang getting another role. So I wasn't like Who are was, they? They were from my school president. They were the second oh. couple in my school president. Mm -hmm. Um which I like I just felt fine about them in my school president. I wasn't super attached to their yeah, I can't characters them relationship. Um, but I know like a lot of people were really attached to them, so 
people are happy about that but the <clears throat> the shows most of the shows announced this year from part one um they don't fall into my usual category of woohoo <laughs> yeah so yeah for me this was fair. a really let down honestly <laughs> like <laughs> i'm like yeah. i'm i'm i have a couple that i was excited about i'm like gonna be optimistic because like i thought that my school president was not gonna be up my alley at all and i became obsessed mm. with it so um who knows how things will hit but there was a couple in particular that like i have like two that i'm like really really excited for which we'll get to um want something that starts sooner so we can really get into their relationship yeah i haven't followed much outside of them outside of my school president so maybe this will be the thing that yeah. really brings it in but we'll yep. see um well, next one the next one was the trainee which was off gun yeah off gun yes. stay employed we love to see I it i think that's the one i'm the most excited for just because yeah. it's off gun it's in like i don't even place. really care what the storyline is honestly mm -hmm. like yeah i just want to see Dude. them Afghan are going to act their asses off no matter what the story exactly. is. So, yeah. I'm here for it. Someone said I, I can't remember if it was, I saw it on Twitter or Tumblr, but that it's just um Kai in third post graduation. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes that was too. <laughs> too. <laughs> like I'm here for it. Yes. Um, That's exactly what it is. Oh my god. The nostalgia. Yeah, yeah it was so I literally remember last year we put out a poll about mm -hmm. if off gun would have another bl project and like less than half of the people thought they would and mm -hmm. now we got cooking crush which still hasn't come out but and another project in 2024 so like yep. off gun like i they just like working together i think yes and it's mm -hmm. nice to see them in whatever they do because they just like working together mm -hmm. i love them yes Kapook Kapook is in two sapphic roles this year and I'm here for it. Yeah. So is. yeah. Yeah, I um I just watched the trailer for this one because when I first went to watch it there weren't any subtitles on it. So I just watched mm. it before we um started the live. But it looks it looks like it's gonna be fun. I love a workplace romance, so yep. I guess it's like technically workplace internship, so I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, but <laughs> she's so hot. I need her. I feel that. <laughs> off and stay booked and busy. That's what I'm saying. I saw the streets are saying Cooking Crush might air next month. Um, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I know Last Twilight is definitely supposed to start next month. And the streets are saying Cooking Crush as well, which might replace both Dangerous Romance and I was Only Friends say, if yeah. both of them start next month. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Probably. But I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I love that they're 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 doing another rom com. I love off gun and rom coms. I feel like mm. so. I mean, that's what they're like exceptional at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's mm -hmm. really fun to see them step out of their comfort zones too, like with not me. Uh, yeah. It's... Mm -hmm. Okay. Super okay, excited. Next one. Ten out of ten. Yes, very excited. Oh, next one was the one that just looked like um my school president 2.0 to me the only only boo i think it's called um, um it was like a guy who wants to be a dancer and a guy who works oh, yeah, at the school's right. food stall and it had like the no dating rule for the dance group and like the i'm gonna help you achieve your dreams like it was heavy on the my school president vibes and i think that GMMTV is trying to create another it's also their GMMTV rookie series so it has like the rookies right. it was all actors I'm I don't yeah a couple yeah. people from my school president but the leads were actors I'm not familiar with um I mean, they were cute but this is like this is one of the shows that really is not up my alley at all and I yeah. will try and watch it but I don't see how I'm gonna enjoy that show in any way <laughs> yeah it's one of the things where I'll probably wait to see what people are saying because that's what happened with my school president and I decided to start it and I really liked it. Um, but it did have like a lot of the same elements. So I feel like GMMTV is trying to like create another unexpected hit in that way. And I, mm. I don't know if it'll pan out the same, but we'll see. Mm. But yeah, I didn't really have a lot of 
thoughts in particular about that trailer, except that it reminded me of my school president. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Cherry Magic is supposed to start next month, too. I didn't realize that was that far along Dang. in the filming. They're probably giving Cherry Magic a better um, airing spot because they probably invested a lot in it. So, yeah. We'll see. Yeah. I don't know. Another show I, I honestly forgot about. about I keep forgetting about the Cherry Magic um, remake happening. Yeah, next. Year. Um, the next one in order was Pluto, which is the GL. Um, right. I'm so excited. I have mm. been wanting to see Namtan in a GL Same. for so Same. long, <laughs> and it's finally happening. Like, um, ever since. I think it was with Apple. She did like that project, that like sapphic project with Apple for something for their university, I think. Um, and I've been wanting to see her like in a GL project ever since then. And I'm so excited that it's finally happening. Mm. Yeah, the concept looks wild. It's it's giving very not me with like one twin gets in an accident and then mm -hmm. the other twin kind of assumes their life to figure out what mm -hmm. happened um yeah. but it seems more like dramatic than oh, not me it was dramatic less less danger involved i guess like you know there's not like right. the the there's not like the gang mafia aspect. Gang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well um, i don't know someone no, was you know. up that car <laughs> that's true um it was it was it pod was that who was the guy who was smashing oh, in the glass oh my gosh um <laughs> I think it was Pop. Was I'm it? pretty sure. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be a GL. I'm really excited. Um, it also looks like there is going to be a secondary GL, like Love Triangle with mm -hmm. Oh, it was Thor. It was Thor. It was Thor. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know where, where I got Pod from. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks like there's going to be a secondary like GL Love Triangle as well with Kapook and Sizze and uh, Pup, I forget her name. I don't oh, know. I feel um, bad. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I remembered it up until like just before we did this. We're forgetting the girl's name. I'm forgetting everyone's names. I don't know people's <laughs> names. Um, I, uh, I'm not the right person to say anything. But <laughs> yeah. P ploy, thank you. I was gonna say ploy, and I di I didn't think that was completely correct. Um, but yeah, so it looks like there's gonna be a secondary GL love triangle as well, which is exciting. Um, I'm glad we're getting at least one more like full fledged GL from GMM TV. Um, they're still going with the space theme with twenty three point five degrees, and then Pluto. So I like that yeah. they're kind of all the GLs are kind of. Free and Becky also have like a space themed GL movie coming out. So yeah, what I is it like... with Sapphix and space? <laughs> just, just their thing. I, I guess I, I, <laughs> is good. I don't, I don't know. Like space is fun. All the like, symbols... thinking back on like yeah, the the Taiwanese one. Oh, Dear Uranus too. Yeah, True. yeah. Ooh. Oh, there is kind of there's like a subgenre it's... going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so oh, funny. Wow. The moon is a lesbian. Exactly. Mm. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's that why. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. I thought Namtan and Film were really cute. I thought Film was super cute in the showcase. She looked very like shy and nervous to be doing like her first GL project. So mm. um I'm really looking forward to see how that yeah, one the turns girls out. were cute on stage. They I were love really their, cute. their matching dresses were so cute. <laughs> And so supportive of each, of each other and yeah. it's just like oh my god yeah yeah and yeah. I, I hope it's gonna be good we'll see um okay the next one was awesome's love thailand with earth and mix so there was an mm. actual trailer for this one it was very similar to what happened with cherry magic, cherry this, magic. Year. Yeah. this year this year last year um Heather was really excited about this one. I am like, super excited about this one. I was screaming <laughs> while watching I this all alone. I <laughs> have not watched Austin's Love, so I don't really Boo. know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. 
Um, now you but I'm to. always happy for more Earth Mix, so I'm mm-hmm. I'm happy about it regardless. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. super excited how they're gonna do this. Um, yeah, like I've said that. before, with um, remakes from Japan, there's a lot to think about <laughs> because mm-hmm. society in Japan is different from society in Thailand, so they need to adapt. But they did such a good job with F four, so I'm just like. I believe it. I believe yeah. in them. Yeah, I know. I know a lot of people were like, kind of. I don't know, if shitting on them is the right word. I guess shitting on them for doing <laughs> multiple remakes this year because there's also obviously my love mix up, and then mm. high school f- friend of me is the re- is a remake of School 2013, which is a Korean drama. Mm-hmm. Um, so a lot of people have been like. Why aren't you doing more original projects? But like because I don't the know. original projects are boring. <laughs> not always. I'm sorry. No, not always. Not always. But I'm sorry. But they've gone through all the good ones in Thailand. Okay. <laughs> Every <laughs> single need... one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they need more. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. People have been really mad about the remakes. Um, I don't get that. I. Why? And honestly, it feels kind of racist. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it we've feels had this it feels a little racist mm-hmm. about like the idea that Japanese uh, uh, East Asian media like can't be topped, kind of thing in terms of like mm-hmm. South Asian media. I don't. We've kind of had the discussion before, um, talking about it in the past as well. Um, but I don't know. I I don't like the idea that like I I think. A lot of people struggle to like criticize GMMTV as a production company and they obviously mm-hmm. have a lot of things to criticize mm-hmm. but I also think a lot of the times people conflate that with like the actors and turn that on to mm-hmm. the artists that are in the company and the directors and writers that are in the company mm-hmm. um so I, I I'm just kind of I think I'm tired of the whole GMMTV can't make a good show narrative because I feel mm-hmm. like they've proven that that's not true yeah um and I feel like a lot of the rhetoric around not wanting them to adapt Japanese shows and stories is because they don't think that Thailand or specifically GMMTV can do good shows. They're not and good I just, enough. Yeah, I just like, I don't yeah. necessarily think that's true. And no. I feel like they definitely have a lot of boring BLs and a lot of boring yeah. shows. I'm not going to deny that. But they also have a lot of good writers and directors and actors in their company mm-hmm. that I think can pull off and have pulled off a lot of really good projects. Yeah. So and and I think like for the remake of F four, um, the Thai version is by far the best one. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like mm. you can and I'm not saying that Cherry Magic or Love Mix Up or any of these are gonna be better either mm-hmm. because different directors different actors there's a lot going into this but i don't think it's fair to count them out yeah that's um, how i feel because... especially yeah. if you haven't seen like if you see the show and it's shit, then blast it all you want but <laughs> it's, it's i not, think the preemptive yeah. <laughs> yeah i think the preemptive this is gonna be shitty no matter what it's just kind mm-hmm. of like yeah mm-hmm. That's Why can't you just let people be excited about things? Yeah. But and, uh, that's neither here nor there. Talking about love mix up. I, I'm I, it's not my jam, but I'm a little bit excited. They fit so perfectly I am, for I those. thought so too. Right? I it saw so many them. people ragging on like Gemini and Fourth in this casting, but I thought it was like, I thought it was really casted. fitting for them. Yeah. They fit the characters so well that I was just like, at first when I was watching the trailer, it didn't even like bling that this was like a a Japanese BL, like a remake. I was just like, wow. (laughs) Yeah. They fit so well. Yeah. Especially fourth as Aoki, I think is such a good casting. (laughs) I think he's going to do so well Mm -hmm. in that type of character. Um, I feel like it's very similar to his personality IRL in some aspects. Um, so, yeah, I was really excited about that one. I loved Kyaita Hatsukoi. It's one of my mm-hmm. favorite Japanese BLs. I've talked about it a lot on here. Um, but I'm really excited to see it. I, like, I, 
when I realized when I put together, I saw like the trailer started and it was like the little eraser animation and talking about like writing your crush's name. And I put together that it was fourth voice and I like gasped audibly when I realized, <laughs> like, oh, they're doing my love mix up. Like, this is happening. Yeah. Um, and I'm not really a fourth and Gemini fan at all. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I'm. Have I watched any of their shows? I don't you, know. You tried to, you should watch some of My School President. That's their oh, only yeah, show. Oh yeah, right. They were in My School <laughs> President. Right? That, oh, Moonlight that, Chicken. That were... Moonlight Chicken. You watch, did you watch Moonlight Chicken? Yes. Yes, so, I did. Also Moonlight yes. Chicken. Oh, yeah. also. Yes. I forget about them the minute I'm not watching the show anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's valid. <laughs> it's fair. This is my public apology. Like, just tears. No. Um... <sighs> Yeah, no, I I'm still even though the like I don't really ship them like that. I, I I'm excited for the show. I think it, it the trailer looked good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I agree. I'll watch it. Yeah, one thing I did notice, with the exception of um, like obviously we know which one news directing and um, P Golf is directing one, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, none of them really had directors attached to them, which like right. last year at the showcase, yeah. usually the directors they came up on stage and there, yeah. were there like to kind of talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, so I was just, I don't know if they like haven't had, don't have directors set in stone for everything yet, or maybe they're just, we're trying to streamline the showcase more and focus it mainly on like the actors themselves. So I thought it was interesting that most of them did not have like any directors attached to it. Um, mm -hmm. and it's not having them at the showcase and things like I know they were there like the directors yeah. were there because a lot of them were posting but like they didn't come up on stage and um, I know Jojo said that he was not having a project at part one he kind of implied that he might have one in part two which I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised I would be surprised if he didn't have a project mm -hmm. um, and I know uh, P.O. tweeted something about like wanting to focus on making a series that he's like completely produced himself. So I don't know mm -hmm. if he's going to be doing mm -hmm. something with GMM TV next year, but he is a big part of GMM TV. So I feel like he'll have hands in a lot of projects no matter what, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, Oh, it was the same director from my school president. Well, that makes me excited. Cause mm -hmm. I thought he did a really good job with my school president yeah and he's he used to be p Oaf's like assistant director for a couple shows i think didn't he um that's exciting then i totally mm -hmm. missed that information but yeah i thought it was interesting that most of them at least at the showcase i feel like a lot of the directors like posted about them on social media afterwards but yeah mm -hmm. i think it might have been a timing thing which i think was the whole Probably. reason they decided to split it into two parts which i don't know um mm, neo mark series yeah. yeah i would love that i mean i would love that too i they did a great job in in only friends um i'm not sure it's gonna happen because i feel like they keep um they keep like throwing neo around just like they do with gavin i was just mm -hmm. gonna make that comparison mm -hmm. but i kind of like the idea of gmo tv having a couple of actors who just like float around and get paired in different series and aren't necessarily mm. tied to a ship and i feel like neo is a good person to do that because he's yeah he can have chemistry with anyone like he's yeah. such an easygoing person and i feel like we've mm, seen it with great both actor neo and louis and neo and mark like i feel like he mm -hmm. can kind of blend into any pairing any environment that they throw any type of show that he gets thrown into so i feel mm -hmm. like if they want to have like a couple of actors who just kind of float and kind of do different pairings he's a good one for that yeah i will like i think they might be a little bit afraid of putting them together in a new show after their current roles and current ship being sort of like on the toxic end <laughs> mm. and that they will so have like this... IRL. <laughs> yeah i know right. but they have like this like it, it they it it's kind of like typecasting kind of it's like yeah. especially after the show is so fresh in everyone's minds um maybe if we wait another year they might put them together again because then only friends and boston nick won't pop up when you see mm. them um but yeah char also made a good point that mark also 
has Mark Ford, which is the pairing mm-hmm. from my school president, who like they've done a lot of fan meets and stuff in GMMTV mm-hmm. has has done a lot of things with them. So Mark also is someone who floats around with a lot of different people. Um mm-hmm. yeah, I remember because Mark was in um he was doing the my school president all the my school president fan meets and he was also filming last twilight but he was originally supposed mm-hmm. to be in cooking crush with neo um is what mm-hmm. char was saying uh, right. he ended up being they did a bunch of those recasts at one point and yeah, he was recast because he just didn't have Dude, time in his schedule suddenly like in six months we're gonna get the message that half of these have changed main actors i wouldn't so be surprised <laughs> i mean <laughs> <clears throat> It happened with Gemini and Fourth not being in twenty three point five. We got cast changes for mm-hmm. Cooking Crush. Like, um, I mean, things happen with people's schedules mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And especially if you're someone like Mark, who is on every show in the planet, mm-hmm. um, some sometimes something has to go. I feel working. like so. <laughs> yep. You know, you got to make sacrifices for your own well being at times like that. I feel like so. Yes. Have we gotten to the vampire one yet? Um, is mm-hmm, it that's all ne- she wants to it's, talk about. It's the next one. We can we can talk about my golden blood now, Mixie. <laughs> I will say I'm excited for Neo to be in something again. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Neo and Mond is in it too. Um, I Mond not... is a vampire, dude. <laughs> I did not clock Joss in no. a vampire bl ever if oh yeah Josh, said, i said neo sorry <laughs> neo is also in it so that works yeah yeah um like if you would have told me josh is jo- josh joss is going to be in a vampire bl mm-hmm. i never would have believed yeah, you in a million crazy. years like i was unsure I'm if he was ever it. gonna be in that bl <laughs> yeah <laughs> fucking joss i'm Dude. here for it yeah no gavin fits with everyone like you can put anyone with gavin and it'll work um <laughs> i was really surprised b- seeing joss there um uh, but watching the trailer like i never expected gmm tv to come out with a vampire <laughs> series that was About so time, I'm out of the I'm far left i'm just like what <laughs> even but i i've rewatched it a couple of times and i'm really excited <laughs> Yeah, I think that vampire stuff can be so fun. Uh-huh. I hope that they yeah. like. My hope is that they kind of lean into the campy elements of like mm. a yeah. supernatural BL mm-hmm. and like because it's so fun to watch when they do that. Um, but we'll see what happens. I'm excited for it. I think it's gonna be really interesting to see. Um, Maya and Ploy, I'm, I keep saying I'm assuming Ploy, but they're like a writing duo. So Maya yeah. and Ploy, who did Cutie Pie and Naughty Babe series, are the writers for this. Um, yeah. And we knew they had a GMM TV show because they told us when we were in Thailand, but yeah. we didn't know which show. So I honestly I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot that they told no. us that. And then I saw I her post on Instagram and I was like, oh, she did tell us that. Yes. <clears throat> Yeah, Dang, I love, wow. I love, see, yeah, see, I don't consider Three Will Be Free a BL, but mm. Joss has played queer roles before, so, like, I was excited mm. to see him back in a queer role, and this mm-hmm. is more of, like, a full-fledged, is is a full-fledged BL, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited to see Josh, Joss, my American mouth wants to say Josh, and that's not what his name is. Um, I'm excited to see him like tower over Gawain and like um, Victor or Hugo mentioned like swooping him up, picking him up like it was nothing. Like I'm I'm here for that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see. Um, yeah, dude, the scene where where uh, Joss is carrying Gavin and his his shirt is like open and bloody and all that. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I'm sold. <laughs> for me, oh, for me baby. it was a scene I'm when here for jo- it. Joss and Mon started they put their fangs oh, out and they the started <laughs> yeah. the glowing I just eyes. Love it. <laughs> oh. This is going to be oh so God. much fun. <laughs> like, 
genuinely I can't watch that show alone. I need to like get my friends who don't actually watch BL and just it's tell just them you need to watch you this. Need to with watch me. this, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, I'm super Love excited it. for it. It's gonna be really interesting to see how it plays out. Mm. Um someone had mentioned the the Joss and Luke ghost ship, because I know that's mm. been a ghost ship for a long time um and i saw a tweet that was like um my golden blood is just joss luke with an f in the middle because it's fluke instead of luke (laughs) (laughs) oh my god um but also (laughs) the fact that it's called my golden blood and i know i think kayla you talked about this in your server (laughs) uh, reminds me of the mafia drama golden blood i thought that too (laughs) Uh, we'll that see was if it can be too. Yeah. I don't know if we will out camp um, <laughs> the camp. OG Golden Blood. Yeah, um, yeah. but we'll I see. think I don't think that's possible, <laughs> even if they try. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, Mond. It's so funny that JoJo specifically said that, like they cast mon like when they were talking about casting boeing like casting someone mm-hmm. who has never kissed a boy before and now mm-hmm. mon is just popping up in like Everything. all of these bls and is yeah gonna be i guess kissing people to be in clear, my golden we blood know too. mon has been in bls before but he hasn't had like a bl partner before yeah mm-hmm. i didn't think he was still under gmm tv to be honest i didn't realize right? he still was so i'm surprised that he's like popping up he's in a bunch popping of GMM up in TV shows now. again but yeah, I'm here for no. it. It's going to be a good one, I think. Mm-hmm. It's going to be yeah. fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, this is on top of my list of uh, the shows. Like, yeah. I'm so excited. Um. Okay, so the next one is... Oh, we don't new... count Waterboy. I'm just going to... That oh. doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not Waterboy. Uh... It's blast yeah, water boy. <laughs> yeah, because wasn't he the one who had like a thing with someone's dad and water boy? Was that him? No, that was top. No, that was top. Oh, that was top tap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Mon's couple, I think, was the toxic bullying relationship. Uh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. No, that show doesn't exist. Sorry. <laughs> um. The next one, I was I got, I got, I got off my train of thought. I haven't had coffee yet this morning, so this is why I'm all neither. over the place. Mm-hmm. Um, Ohm's new BL kidnap with Lang, who I think is a new GMM TV um, mm-hmm. signee. Mm-hmm. The first thought I had when I watched this trailer is that Lang is gorgeous. Like he is Yo, yeah. so yeah. pretty. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was like my after yeah. I finished the trailer, yeah. I was like, "Damn, that boy is pretty." <laughs> yeah, um. I I did a double take um, because I was just like, "Oh, that's um um um." Yeah, who? I didn't. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> who who is this? That's oh, do me. I know who are you? <laughs> um, I didn't think it was gonna like when the trailer first started. I thought it was gonna be like some kind of mafia like ohm led mafia show type thing mm-hmm. and then like they started introducing all of these romantic elements and i was like oh, oh. we're going back here again okay i kind of like the trailer like it wasn't my favorite but mm-hmm. i i kind of like the concept of like mafia person falling for or hitman i guess falling for like someone they were supposed to kill I mm-hmm. think that's like a mm-hmm. really interesting. I've liked that concept done before in Manor shows and <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. It's basically Manor that's of where Death. It comes from. Literally, I was like, where have I seen that before? Literally, Manor of Death. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's always a fun, a fun concept. Um, I can imagine um Nanon fans were. Not having a good time with that one, but I thought it was a fun trailer. Like, it's not my top one, but I'm interested enough that I'm going to probably actively seek out watching it when it airs. Mm-hmm. Um, Drake is in it. Was Drake, is this yeah. one with Drake is in? No, Drake is Drake is in it, isn't he? Yeah, I thought so. Drake he's is also in, like, in more than one. one thing. Yeah, yeah he is. <clears throat> I think he's in the trainee one. He's in the boxer doctor one, too, oh, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, think that's the one I'm more Drake. Of. That's just basically the general feeling there. More Drake and everything. 
yeah, yeah. I also thought Lang kind of looked like oh yeah Belkin mm -hmm. for a second. I can see yeah. that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I think that GMMTV is going to be fighting to promote Ohm in a new pairing as yeah. we've seen how with how the fans Good have luck. reacted and i mm -hmm. kind of feel bad for lang because i feel like he's getting he's thrown get into thrown the mix him. um in a in a messy situation but like i hope that like i have seen like some sub uh, support for them already like people doing mm -hmm. like tiktok edits and stuff so hopefully there will be enough positive <sighs> yeah I mean, it, it might outweigh. be like this um, <clears throat> outlandish reactions of these uh, Om Nanon fans might like put the rest of the fandoms like in a like, let's counter this and just like positive mm. energy, mm -hmm. extraordinary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But because yeah, da -da. yeah, it's not gonna be an easy. Um, <clears throat> I'm like, I don't have a problem with it, but I'm I was surprised to see Ohm in a BL again so soon, I will say. Because mm -hmm. I know yeah. even before Bad Buddy and all the debacle with the Ohm Nanan fallout, he had mm -hmm. kind of talked about Bad Buddy like wanting wanting that to be his last BL project for a while and wanting to mm -hmm. branch out and do more roles because he's been in so many different BLs. Mm -hmm. um, but like, I'm glad he's deciding. I hope like he took it on because it's a project that he really enjoys and was like excited for so mm -hmm. i was surprised but like not in a bad way like i like mm -hmm. ohm as an actor so yeah me for too. the most part i'll i enjoy watching i enjoyed mm -hmm. bad buddy a lot so <clears throat> yeah I don't... yeah they might mm -hmm. they might send a truck to all of our houses now oh i'd like, like to see them <laughs> oh dude that would be so funny <laughs> uh, yeah but we'll see how it plays out mm-hmm yeah people just can't i don't i don't know what it is about that pairing maybe it's because there was like the fight and then the resolution and there was kind of like Dude, some I real think... life friendship drama but people have like such an I think attachment it has... to them yeah i think it has something to do with people had an attachment to them before they, they were friends on screen as a as well. couple yeah. and a lot of people yeah. shipped them before that <laughs> so when they finally did the bl together people got like really attached to mm -hmm. it um but uh, for most of us we kind of figured like this is just a one-time thing <laughs> so i mean they just both like kind of right said when. it would be <laughs> so um, yeah i don't know i know people's minds can change so just because they said it would be didn't mean it would have to be but mm. i've like i'm trying to think of other there's not a lot of other cases where i've seen such a strong attachment to a pairing that is no longer wishing to be um a pairing anymore i should say mm -hmm. but yeah yeah it's been a while I mean, since that this all just went shows down. how crazy the fandom culture is and and mm -hmm. how people need to chill man like let these mm -hmm. actors live like as fans <coughs> we're not entitled to anything mm -hmm. um no. and they should be able to choose for themselves um yeah. what they want to do yeah uh, we'll see how it all plays out okay the next one sorry i thought it was, thought I was gonna sneeze for a second <clears throat> um okay the next one is i think the one that i might be most excited for um and it's the wandi good day which is the one that's directed by golf who did the eclipse um and it has great an N, which if you remember, great was the cop in Manner of Death whose titties yeah. were always about to pop out of his oh, shirt. Oh, yeah, we were talking about <laughs> him getting his own show. Mm-hmm. Him and, and his buttons. Yeah, <laughs> well, he, he seems to have no buttons here because he had his shirt <laughs> off and was nude most of the trailer. So, um, and then N was in, I think, Miracle of Teddy Bear, which I never watched, but oh, I know yeah, I a Teddy lot Bear. of people like had a lot of high praise for it as a really like well written show. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm excited for this one. I thought the trailer was a lot of fun. It was spicy. It looked funny. It had a really good mm -hmm. cast to it. Um, Thor is in this one again as well, um, with an actor named Fluke, and I thought. Um, I really like their scenes in the trailer, so 
I'm just really excited for it and love P golf, love Mm -hmm. her as a director. So I think it's, it's going to be a good one. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there's, um, I know both in and great have been signed to GMM TV for about a year now, but I think this is the first like major acting project for either Mm -hmm. of them. I think great has been in some of the head stuff, but I don't know if he's had like a main role yet. Um, but I just thought it looked like a lot of fun. Um, and I know that I caught during the showcase that both or I think it might have been the interviews after the showcase that I saw a video of and in great were saying like based on the title, they thought that it was going to be like a really cute, wholesome like show. <laughs> and then it turned out that it's a lot spicier um, <laughs> than they realized it would be. I am very surprised that <laughs> they got away with like blurred blurred dick (laughs) dick because obviously he was wearing underwear um in that trailer um yeah and then like it was so funny because it got privated on youtube like almost (laughs) immediately after it went up and i'm pretty sure that's why (laughs) i feel like youtube hit them with some kind of like some kind of hit there um Uh, hashtag uh, fake dick hashtag fake dick um (laughs) No, but it looks like really fun, and it looks like mm. like this is like I feel like my kind of when I like a like a light romantic fun series. I feel like this is the kind of thing I like to watch. So, I'm um, I'm excited for it. Yeah, finally, finally, great is getting his own BL. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the trailer is back now. It went it was private for like 24 hours but i think it is back online now yeah, um, i don't know if they had to like edit something, something. Yeah. yeah they might have had to edit some scenes but um it is back online now um but yeah I how are they gonna fun. air that show on youtube if i kind of <laughs> i have a feeling that gym mtv is soon gonna just start throwing everything out on Vicky instead of youtube mm. like it kind of feels like that since they've been moving everything over well, Cooking Crush is, what is it, on Wii TV? It's going to be on Wii TV. So they might be. Ah, um, seriously? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't want to pay mm. for another subscription. <laughs> Wii TV is the Dude. one that I don't have. I also just canceled my Vicky subscription. So we'll see. Um, These streaming sites should have like a, a one time payment if you just want to watch one show, right? Because. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> It's been we'll said. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm I'm always surprised by like what level of spice you can get away with on on YouTube. Mm. Like, I guess it really depends on how much they want to show. But like, there have been some pretty spicy things that have been, um, have popped up on YouTube. So I mean, Only Friends is on there. <laughs> Only Friends hasn't yeah, shown any dick, but, but they've come pretty damn back. close. <laughs> yeah, they're not showing the dick though. <laughs> like, yeah, there's no there's no close. butts and there's no dicks, <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, Warp Effect also had a lot, had a lot that they showed. So yeah, they had a lot of age restricted like episodes. Mm. Yeah, I think or... I'm pretty sure Only Friends got hit with some age restrictions on their episodes. As yeah, well. some of them. Um, mm-hmm. so this might be another one to add to the age-restricted GMM TV show section. Um, mm-hmm. but I think it's going to be fun. I'm, I think this is the one I'm most excited for, just based on the quality of the trailer. I was really into it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Um, the only other one we kind of already talked about, um, My Love Mix-Up, that was the last one that they showed at the showcase that was bl um mm-hmm. which we kind of already talked about i'm excited for it i'm excited to see more gemini and fourth and i think it's gonna be fun and that's all i have to say about it we already said everything else i feel like yeah <clears throat> huh. yeah but yeah i don't know in the, general the, dude the the tay new show oh my god i forgot about the tay new show oh my god oh, do we know if that there. is because i I've, I've seen some discourses some people don't actually think it's a bl um and i I'm... assumed it is because it's tay new like oh, i assumed yeah. there... I that trailer but i saw it i mean yeah. the trailer doesn't really tell you if it's a bl or not <laughs> yeah oh. i don't know i just assumed that it would be since tay new um 
It looks like. I don't know if I'll watch it. I, I it looks I, funny, no. <laughs> but I just don't think I'll end up watching it. Um, yeah, it's a kind of I role that I would my... like to see Tay in, but I would love to watch a show with Tay. <laughs> Same, but <laughs> um, yeah. So I I don't know how I totally missed that from my list of stuff that I had here. Yeah, everyone is. Saying I didn't feel like I was missing romance. something. Yeah. I mm. think it's a bromance too, honestly. Interesting. Hmm. Um, the other one that kind of had discourse was the high school friend of me one, um, which the only reason I didn't mm. include that is because I've watched the original and it's not queer. Like, it's very much like you will ship the characters, but like mm. it's not. It's it's very much a bromance. The original one. Um, mm. So I don't think it's gonna be a bl but i know some people have thought it was going to be um but i don't i don't think the high i also hate high school front of me like <laughs> some of these some of these titles are just oh man yeah. we've talked about that before why too. is frenemies a thing like why is I, that a word why why is that know. in the english language could know. we just like forget that happened and just leave it at that <laughs> Oh um God. but yeah so yeah i i totally um oh mark's character mm. is autistic i didn't realize that mm. he was oh yeah autistic. i saw that his character that. was getting bullied in the trailer i didn't realize he was playing an autistic character um yeah gmmtv i feel like i really want to see how they tread lightly with handling some of like their disabilities and neurodivergent representation um like obviously we have last twilight is tackling blindness pluto also is going to have a blind character i don't remember that gmm tv has ever had like neurodivergent like autistic characters in their shows before not specifically that they've said yeah um... But just, like, ones that I think could be interpreted. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's usually very much, like, it's the same with um, Sasong apparently playing an ace character in We Are. I feel like it's always been, like, you kind of interpret it that way, but it's never been explicit. Um, oh, I didn't realize. I haven't watched Homeschool, so I didn't realize that there was a home, an autistic character in Homeschool. Um, but, yeah, it's always, it's always, a, I feel like it's very much either like hit or miss like they either yeah. do it well or mm -hmm. it's not good at all so yeah that is a little bit worrisome yeah i mean the problem usually with really these uh shows when they're having like autistic characters and stuff they they don't bring on consultants that actually mm -hmm. know how it's supposed to be portrayed they, so they just tap into stereotypes usually and yes. go based on what they've seen in other media which is usually just stereotypes yeah um so yeah, it's always something I'm wary about when that happens, but we'll mm -hmm. see. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I don't know. In general, I feel like people have kind of already said it feels like there was a lot less hype around this one. Um, I don't really like that they split it up into two parts. I guess it's like people yeah. speculated just because they didn't have anything, everything ready in time. Um, but yeah. We'll see. There are a couple that I'm pretty excited for, but overall I felt like the showcase as like an event felt a little bit like underwhelming compared to how it usually is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just like with the quality of the shows as well, I think um it was better last year. Mm -hmm. Um it feels a little rushed. I think they've had they they took on a big project last year with all the show uh, shows mm -hmm. and they haven't like caught up. They keep yeah, they're getting still, behind. There are still shows they have not released yet. Yeah, so so I just feel like they are so behind um, mm -hmm. that this just felt too rushed. I yeah. I honestly I would have preferred that they just pushed the event back. And mm -hmm. just had it it's like, even tip mm -hmm. it's earlier than it usually is i guess because mm -hmm. we're splitting it into two parts they did part one earlier but usually mm -hmm. it happens in like late november yeah. um and they need to be careful that they're not like getting drowned because um that it's gonna affect the quality of the shows and if they are rushing to get shows out it's it's not a 
good take. Yeah. And if with all the remakes mm. they're doing, they probably have like a lot of uh, red tape to go through uh, with mm -hmm. Japan because that's a nightmare. And now they have like three shows they have to do that with. Uh, yeah. I do think that they said that like they they're not advertising now that all of these shows are specifically going to air in 2024. Um so they've kind of just like let go of the these are all going to happen next year and they specifically said that since they're doing it in part 1 and part 2 like it's not like all of these shows are going to air in the first half of the year and like part 2 will be everything in the second. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think it's because of the pandemic, to be honest. Um, I think um, because Together got so successful, they sort of tried to ride on that wave and they've just been picking up more and more shows uh, than they're used to and they can't keep up with the amount of people uh, who are working behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I just... Because you can see, if you if you mm. compare the shows three, four years ago compared to now, they're doing a lot more. Um, so I just don't think they like have the manpower to keep up. Yeah, I think I think there's just like believe maybe that they always have to like one up the year before, which isn't mm -hmm. necessary if you're like no. not caught up on the year before, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like they feel like they need to do a quantity um, and like not that doesn't necessarily mean all the shows are bad quality, but it means that they're getting behind on a lot of the productions that they have already had planned because they're, you know, using a lot of the same actors, directors and writers to also be planning for yeah. these future shows as well. Yeah. So, But I will say that GMMTV is the one handling the situation the best. Uh, because mm -hmm. if you look at some of these other companies that uh, promised shows that haven't come out and we have no news about, like, um, we barely he have heard anything from Demundi this year. Um, we barely heard anything from Wabi Sabi. Um, and, and, oh, God, the Kim Porsche gang. And, like, all of these companies that have been promising shows and all that, like, there's nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I think the big thing would just be to be more transparent with the timelines, which is why yeah. I like that this year GMMTV said specifically said 2024 and beyond. Beyond. Um, because mm -hmm. I think there's this expectation when you do like title a showcase like 2023 showcase that all of these shows are gonna air in the, the year 2023. And mm -hmm. like I think a lot of the times the showcases are obviously to get the fans excited, but also to get advertisers excited. So mm -hmm. it's not necessarily like we've announced these shows and they're all starting production right now. So I think if they were just a little bit more transparent with like the timelines of like how as much as I don't like like Marvel's annoying, but like they have like <laughs> the timeline that comes out of like uh. this show's releasing in like June of this year and this movie's releasing mm -hmm. in like June of 2025. Like at least yeah. you have an idea of like how far along things are going to be. So mm -hmm. I think the problem with these showcases is that, and maybe partially it's the fans having their own expectations too, that like all mm -hmm. of this stuff is going to air within one year when I just don't think that's realistic with how small a lot of these companies are like they're yeah. a lot smaller than we realize um yep. like jim mtv is the biggest one in terms of producing bl and that's mm -hmm. even smaller than i think a lot of people recognize and realize yeah. so and i mean they have a really short turnaround for these shows like yeah. no matter how you look at it like if you compare it to how heartstopper um Roy, uh, young royals uh, everything like those shows have been taking forever and that's mm -hmm. normal <laughs> but the mm -hmm. the the um the time they're using on pumping out these thai bls and thai shows or whatever it's so short and yeah. i get that the directors is, are saying that they're editing these shows until the last second <laughs> mm. yeah yeah i remember gameplay saying that he also was editing one of the shows until the last second that he was yeah, in. his um, I forget. I can't what it's remember called. the name of the show. <laughs> um, but yeah, we had talked to him, and he had been like editing before he mm -hmm. came on to talk to us. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do think GMMTV has too many actors. Um, kind and they don't of. know what to do with a lot of them. <laughs> mm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's just like I do appreciate more transparency with the timeline this year. I yeah. still think they're biting off more. Than, like if this had been all that they were planning to do, like if this was just part one was all, it would seem more realistic. But like knowing there's a part two, which might have, you know, another 12, 13, 14 shows, including the head shows that they're producing, like it just feels like a lot. <laughs> but we'll see mm-hmm. how they do. But yeah, so like we're still, like we said, Last Twilight, Cooking Crush, Cherry Magic, and 23.5, plus um, a couple of like um, like Bright's movie or something from the 2023 showcase. They like re-show the trailer for it at this one because it hasn't come out yet and stuff like that. So um, we're still waiting yeah. on some stuff from last year. I know 23.5, they said, is probably going to not come out until next year. Um mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. Have the female leads yeah. for not be We just to... need to hype up the GLs when they come out, and um, we can see a rise of. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't understand releasing my precious as a show. Like they're just taking the movie and cutting it up to release as a show for some reason. Hmm um what is my precious it was a movie from last year's showcase that had like Mm nanon in it um i don't even know what the concept was it was like a youth school themed thing i vaguely remember watching the trailer but i couldn't tell you anything about it um i just Mm -hmm. remember it was like starring Mm -hmm. nanon and it was a movie and now they're releasing it as a series um it's like the opposite of what KBLs do, where they, they release something as a series and then they turn it into a movie. Yeah. But this one releases a movie and now they're releasing it as a series for some reason. I don't really know why. Um, I don't know. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how things go. I do have things I'm excited for. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's mm-hmm. always just a lot of... We'll see. Because the, the final trailers are always going to be different, so... I won't really make an ultimate judgment on if I'm going to watch something until those come out, but yeah. Yeah. So my house is getting rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> we probably need to wrap this up. I don't up. know why you were going to say my, I thought you were going to say my house is getting raided. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> the police are coming for there. Pixie. Mateo. <laughs> My house is getting pretty, yeah. Um, my brothers woke up, so it's getting. I'm gonna say um, the old Nanon fans are coming yeah. after Pixie and <laughs> That's who you're raided by. <laughs> Just being raided uh... by my kids. It's fine. <laughs> oh but yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's all. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> feel free to comment anything down below as well if you wanted mm-hmm. to share any further thoughts or breakdowns about. The trailers um, will be leaving this live up since we usually release this as an episode, but we just have too much content this year to release it as its own episode. Um, but yeah, that's all for this little live. Pixie's like, I need to go. So I'm trying to like wrap it up. Um, more Thailand content coming soon. Jojo in the new interview is coming out next Thursday. So tune in for that um, for all the only friends people. Um, and yeah Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll see you guys soon bye bye